QuickBooks Online 2022 OneNote presentation, Vendor Expense Purchases or Pay Center. Let's get into it with Intuit QuickBooks Online 2022. If you have access to OneNote, would like to follow along, icon left-hand side, topic introduction, 1160 Vendor Expense Purchases or Pay Center tab. Also take a look at the Immersive Reader tool, topic introductions in the text area too, with the same name, same number, but with transcripts. Transcripts that can be translated into multiple languages, either listened to or read in them. Same name and numbers, presentations as well, the topic introductions designed to give an introduction to the topic, provide screenshots, links where applicable, give accounting background to complement the presentations and can be used to follow along with them if you don't have access to the software at that time. Closing the icon on the left hand side, we're looking at the vendor center and the vendor section and we're going to break out the vendor section and look at each of the forms within it. You can think about the vendor items or the forms that you would typically be using in a day to day transaction process either by going to the plus button up top or you can go into what I would call the vendor center or the expenses tab on down below. This is a look at the accounting view and where you would locate it in the accounting view. If you're in the business view, it would look like this. You get the get paid and paid area. So there's some similarities between these two views, but one thing is broken out and that's that transaction by transaction item, which is actually in the bookkeeping area. So if you hit the plus button up top, that's kind of your shortcut go to area if you just want to enter the day to day transactions and we're focusing here on the vendors area. And then if you went to the expenses area, this is a good place where you go for the center where you can kind of organize the information by vendor and you can also look at the transactions that have already been entered by vendor. If you were in the business view, it would be the get paid and this would be the pay kind of section of it and then it would be down here. But when you want to look at those actual transactions, you'd actually be going into the bookkeeping area. So if I go then uh, back down, we're looking at the vendor cycle here. This is a screenshot of the desktop version, but we're just looking at the cycles to get an idea of what the flow would be. And I think that's a good tool for it. Here we are in the vendor center, what I would call it, or the expenses area. And you have this expenses area here. This helps you to break down the information that have already been entered, like bills, checks, and so on, and gives you a nice sorting feature. Note that it's not in the same location, however, in the business view. In the business view, at this point, I believe it's located in the bookkeeping area. So QuickBooks could change this stuff around. They might put it in different areas, but it's all the same stuff. It's usually just changed around, and they change the name of it to try to A-B test, to try to get it the way people like it most. So then we can sort here on the expenses tab and we can sort by bill, for example, and open bill. So these are transactions that have already been entered and we can sort the bills that are outstanding, which would be a common thing to do in the uh, vendors cycle. Then of course we can go to the new tab. We could pay the bill if we so choose, which would be a common thing to do. If we go into the pay bills area, we also get this kind of sorting mechanism allowing us to see the bills that have not yet been paid and choosing the ones that we want to pay. When we enter the pay bills, we get this pay bill check, which is in essence a check form, but specifically paying down the accounts payable. We're sorting here by the bills again. So now we've got sorted by the bills that have not been paid, I believe. And then we can sort by the purchase orders or any of the other items, checks that are in basically the vendor cycle. So here's the purchase order that we sorted by. If we go into the vendors tab, now we're going into the individual vendors, people that we pay during the process of our business. Once again, we can drill down on those vendors and see the detail of the forms that have already been entered for that particular vendor often looking at the forms of the bills that have not been paid to determine if we need to pay them and when to do so.